guys, we're the Girls with Dreams team here, and I know with everybody being budget conscious lately and Halloween coming up, um, you really don't have the money to go out and buy these like big fancy expensive costumes, so we're here just to kind of tell you how to still have a fun Halloween but keep it cheap. So one way that I do that is, like I haven't bought a costume since like 7th grade, just think of like something fun and unique that are really like, you know, you can have fun with, and then go through your closet and like find your old clothes that you never wear and like build your own costume. <laughs> weird shoes. I mean, it's really fun. So Something that's fun to do, and I know a lot of my friends do do it, is um, they dress up in groups. Like, everybody will be something out of a group, like, such as the village people, and, like, one person will be, like, a cop, and one person will be an Indian, and then, like, people dress up as, like, the mean girls, and the spice girls, and, like, maybe Fantastic Four. Just, like, it's fun, because everybody has their own part and to dress up as, but y'all come up as a group. Um, I was, like, something we did, like, at school and, like, I think would be a good idea for Halloween is to do, like, a decade group. Like, maybe you and your friends, like, too, was saying, like, do a group, but you could be, like, from the 50s or you could be from, like, the 70s. Like, peace signs are really big and really in right now, so maybe you can be, like, a 70s girl and get some, like, peace earrings and, like, find some stuff in your closet, like Tori was saying, or, like, borrow something for a friend. Or, like, maybe you guys can each be from, like, the 50s, someone can be from the 60s, and you can, like, even watch, like... Make it fun and like watch movies that are from those decades and come up with ideas to make up a costume. We hope these tips gave you guys a couple ideas, but we'd love to hear what you guys 